we've just stayed the night at St in Stokes National Park, which is just before Esperance. We are packing up the car, heading towards Esperance for the next week. We thought we'd do this next video showing you what we get up to over that week. All the beaches, there's quite a lot to see there, but it will be a pretty slow moving week. Um, we're just packing up the car. Sam's up on the roof. Um, so yeah, we will take you with us. Esperance has a lot, whole lot of cool beaches, so we're going to be doing a lot of inflating and deflating. First night in Esperance, and we have made it to Wharton Bay. You can see, uh, maybe, but like way, way out there, there is a whole lot of smoke clouds because there's a fire. That's where Lucky Bay, where the kangaroos on the beach are. Um, we were going to head out that way um, for the night, but all the roads are closed because of the fire. So we have come out to Warden Bay, which is probably one of our favorites in um, the Esperance area. And we're just going to stay here for one or two nights. It's a little overcast today, but the water is beautiful when the sun's out. So hopefully that will be it tomorrow. Look how pretty the sunset is. We've just quickly race to the water's edge with the car to try to do a photo shoot before the sunset. That's normally not a vibe of what we go for in photos, but, um, and it proved very stressful trying to get everything like set up before the sun went down. But yeah, now we're gonna cook dinner. No one else is on the beach. So I think it's gonna be quite a nice night, sheltered from the wind here. We're just cooking up some dinner tonight. We're having well, I'm having sausages, Sam's having lamb chops, some broccoli, and we have some kumra mash over there. Um, there's tons of mosquitoes, so Sam's lighting a mosquito coil. It's pretty dark, pretty quiet, but at least it's not raining or too windy. Good morning, we have packed up the tent and everything quite early this morning because um, we're staying on a beach you're not officially allowed to camp on so we thought we would pack up the whole car and just go for a walk along the beach. Came from down there, the smoke is still pretty bad this morning so we can't get internet to check if the park's open or not again but hopefully those fires die down soon. Cooking up some porridge for breakfast. It's a little overcast today. Hopefully it clears up. Very overcast. Mm. Our inverter has stopped working. It keeps saying overload. So Sam's just trying to figure out what's going wrong with it to see if we can even fix it ourselves or if we have to get it fixed or buy a new one. Which is really annoying because now we can't charge the camera or the laptop. into a really nice day so we're gonna sit here playing some cards for a while. How pretty is that sunset? We are still at Wharton Beach. I'm gonna stay here for another night. We are cooking a Spanish omelette at the moment. Everything's a little dark, so I'm just kind of cooking in the darkness. Um, oh, it's not turning off. Whoa, that is a bright light. Yeah, so we're just gonna have dinner and then 
probably watch something and go to bed. Another nice night waking up to this. It is now 10 to 7 and we are just going to pack up the tent. On our tent we have this rope. Can you show me the rope? This rope that was already kind of fixed because the rooftop tent's super old and then occasionally it sort of comes out and just poses like a hassle for us trying to get it back through but now it's like just broken in a spot that's really super inconvenient um so we're now having to use the tent pole to try like feed it through the tiny holes but with knots and stuff in it it's gonna be a little tricky I'm just trying to make up a crumble with the leftover fruit that we had because it was all going yuck. Sam is walking out there attempting to fish. We still haven't caught any fish yet. I think that might be the skills of the fisherman. Crumble for breakfast on a rock. <laughs> We have just stopped on the side of the road. It's our, the only place up here that you can get any internet coverage. So we kind of come and sit here for 10 minutes a day and um, check out where our friends are or if anything else is happening and get updates to see if the Lucky Bay and the rest of the national park has opened, which it has not. And how many hectares did you say had been? 900 hectares. 900, or was it 9,900 hectares had um, burnt so far there. So um, I'm not too sure if we will be getting in there. We're going to attempt tomorrow to see. I think that there's a walk that is um, that we wanted to do that may still be open. So we're going to head there the, in the morning and see if that if we can even get there. It is a pretty gross day today, so we are going to find a bathroom, then maybe do a hike, and then gonna go into town, into Esperance Town, and do some jobs. <laughs> First stop of the day is Bunnings. We have made it to Esperance of St. Salmon and I'm just doing some research on the phone while I wait. From the corrugations are some of the bolts on the flaps out front have come undone so Sam is fixing them. We are currently sitting in a car park. It's freaking windy outside. Um, need to go have a shower somewhere but all the showers around here are cold and I don't get in a cold shower. So I think the weather's supposed to clear in a few hours, um, so we're literally just going to sit in this car park and eat food and watch TV shows until then. We have come to the leisure centre, we found one in Esperance that we're just going to, you can pay to use their pool and their facilities and stuff, so we've come here for a much needed shower and just to hang out for the afternoon because the weather is so gross anyway so there's not a whole lot to do so we may as well go inside and be warm. The rain is so bad that we're having to cook in underneath the awning in a car park and it's freezing and super windy. We're making mushroom risotto for dinner. Rockstar? Dude, that's fucking you, man. Hey. It's a mess in here. We slept in here last night just because we are in a car park and the wind was like insanely strong. So we slept in the back, so now we're just tidying it up because it's a mess. <laughs> 